Okay, hopefully you're starting to understand the idea of the mole and why it is a central idea in chemistry. Remember, our loose definition of the mole, not the real definition, but the loose definition is the number of protons or neutrons needed to have a mass of one gram. Because of that, we can use the average atomic mass, the average number of protons and neutrons, is what we call a molar mass. That is, the number of grams in one mole, and that allows us to switch from moles to grams, or grams to moles. But also, remember that mole is a number. The number that it takes to make a protons or neutrons to make a gram, and that number is Avogadro's number, which is about 6.022 times 10 to the... 23rd. That allowed us to change from moles to particles. So we can change from moles to atoms if it was a single element, or moles to molecules if it were a covalent compound, or moles to formula units if it were an ionic compound. We can also change from particles back into moles. What I want you to see now is that this idea of a mole allows us to switch from grams, something that we can measure, into the actual number of particles, something that we would like to be able to count, or vice versa, from particles back into grams. Now the first way I'm going to show you to do, to do this is the way your book does it, in two steps. And this little diagram should help you understand those steps. So let me teach you that with a couple of examples. So in the first one here, it says, what is the mass of 1.204 times 10 to the 24th lithium atoms? Like all of these problems, we start with what is given to us, with the number that we know. So I'm going to start with 1.204 times 10 to the 24th atoms of lithium. Now, it's saying what is the mass, so I want grams. Well, we know that we can relate atoms to moles by using Avogadro's number. Then we can switch from moles to grams using the molar mass. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this in two steps. And you can see it from the diagram. We're going to go from particles, atoms, to moles, and then from moles to grams. So we'll do that following our unit analysis method. So in the first step, we're going to get rid of atoms, and we're going to switch to moles. And we know that one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So now we've gone from atoms of lithium to moles of lithium. And in our second step, we're going to go from moles to grams. So we're going to set this up with our unit analysis to get moles to cancel and to get grams. And remember, we can get the number of grams in one mole by looking at an entry on the periodic table. So for lithium, the average atomic mass is 6.941, so basically on average it has 6.941 protons and neutrons. So one mole would have a mass of 6.941 grams. So now we have this set up, okay? So if you take your calculator, do 1.204 times 10 to the 24th, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and then multiply that by 6.941, all of our numbers have four significant figures, so we'll round our answer off to four significant figures, and you get 13.88 grams of lithium. So, we went from atoms, particles, to moles, and then from moles to grams. You can also do that in the exact opposite order. So in our second example, we're going to start with a mass, grams, and we're going to go back to particles. Now, how many particles are 15 grams of beryllium. Again, start with what you are given. 15 grams of beryllium. Think about what you're looking for. We are trying to get particles, and in this case, the particles are going to be atoms because it's a single element. So, we're going to go from grams to moles, and then moles to particles. In this case, our particles will be atoms. So, in our first step, we want to get rid of grams and we want to go to moles. To do that, we use the molar mass, so we go to our periodic table, we see that on average, beryllium has a little more than 9 protons and neutrons, so one mole has a mass of 9.012 grams. Now I'm going to round that off, and 
that's fine because this only has two significant figures. As long as this has more than two significant figures, it's fine. It's fine to round. So I've gotten rid of grams of beryllium. I now have moles of beryllium. I'm now going to switch from moles to particles. And again, the particle that I'm finding in this case is an atom because beryllium is just a, an element. It just has atoms. So we know that one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. We'll get rid of moles. We'll wind up with atoms, which is exactly what we want. So in your calculator, 15 divided by 9 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. This has two significant figures. This has four. This has four. We're going to round our answer off to two. And when we do, we get 1.0 times 10 to the 24th atoms of beryllium. Now, in this case, that zero is important. It shows us that we have a second significant figure and we have two significant figures. So, to summarize, mole is a central concept. We can go from grams to particles if we go through moles. We can go from particles to grams if we go through moles.